Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lenovo's David Roman. So hi everybody and welcome, welcome to, to Lenovo's um, media launch and our, our, our product launch. It's great to have you all here. We really appreciate that, uh, that uh, you took the time. Now CES is always an exciting time for us and for you. It's when all the new technologies come to market. This year it's no exception. There are some great new things that we can now do with artificial intelligence, with virtual reality, with voice recognition, with always on. And what we're going to do is show you some products that we have coming out that leverage some of these great new capabilities. And, uh, and you know, we're thrilled to, to bring these products to market. They, they actually help us you know, bring what we think is a very different and much better experience to uh, all of our users. So today we're going to show you those products on stage. Afterwards, uh, you have an opportunity to demo some of the products. And I know some of you have already signed up for some of the demos, and you should have time and a number. And if you don't, you may want to see some of the communications people there um, in the back. So the, um, now, one thing that's crucial for us, and one of the ways in which we can bring these great solutions to market quickly is uh, leveraging the partnership that we have with some, some, some great partners. Uh, so we're thrilled today to have Qualcomm, Microsoft, and Google uh, with us, and they'll be on stage with us to help roll out the new products. We're also excited to introduce some new partners that are uh, uh, much smaller ones, Vital and Livermorium. They come out of the relationship that we have with Indiegogo to come up with great new ways to bring new mods to market, and so, uh, so we'll be pleased to introduce those to you as well. Now, here's what you're, you're going to see today. Uh, we're going to go through, first of all, some new mods. And we'll bring on stage the, um, the head of product marketing, Jim TD is the head of product marketing for Motorola. And, and, and you know, Motorola, ever since we introduced the Moto Z with the, uh, the incredible Moto mods, uh, it's been totally unique in the market. And the more mods come out, the more exciting it gets. And Jim is going to show you some really, really cool mods today that do some pretty incredible things. And then we'll have on stage um, Jeff Meredith. Jeff Meredith is a senior vice president and general manager of our consumer segment. And he's going to show you a selection of really interesting products on the consumer side. And uh, you know, the first one is going to be Windows on, on Snapdragon with the, the MiG 630. Uh, and we'll have uh, Qualcomm and Microsoft with us to help go through that. And then we've got some great products from the partnership with Google. Uh, we have a Google Assistant uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with a screen, the smart display, and then a very, very exciting uh, virtual reality solution with uh, both a standalone headset and a camera. And so you'll, uh, you'll see all of that. And we'll be doing that, uh, those ones there with Google. So no time to waste. We want to get straight into the product. So let me bring on stage uh, Jim TD. And uh, thanks for being here. Thank you, David. We launched Moto Z and Moto Mods in 2016 to rave reviews. And we've sold millions of Moto Mods since then. And while we have global distribution, we know consumers are looking for more ways to learn about and purchase new Moto Mods. So we've updated the Moto Mods app on Moto Z to allow for quick online purchasing right from your phone. Today, we want to share with you a few updates on our Moto Mods developer program and Moto Mods being manufactured by some of our partners. Last year, we collaborated with Indiegogo, the global platform for entrepreneurs to bring their ideas from concept to market. And our smartphone challenge gave developers the opportunity to raise funding for their Moto Mod ideas to bring them to life. There were hundreds of submissions. We sent over 80 Moto Mod developer kits, and 50 campaigns went live on Indiegogo. And we're still working with a number of them. One of the most successful campaigns is now coming to market. It's from a company called Livermorium, and they're bringing back the physical QWERTY keyboard. The Livermorium Moto Mod keyboard Moto Mod turns your Moto Z into a five-row QWERTY side slider, allowing you to tilt your phone from zero to 60 degrees. It also features comfortable backlit keys 
for typing long messages and editing documents while freeing up valuable screen real estate. It's available for $99 later this month, and you can check it out in the demo area in just a bit. This Moto Mod is an excellent example of how crowdfunding can help developers bring their ideas to life. Our next smartphone challenges starts today. Anyone can share their best idea on a Moto Mod on Indiegogo, and our panel will select 50 finalists to win a Moto Z and a Moto Mods developer kit. The top finalists will receive a trip to Chicago to meet with our Moto Mods executive team to discuss how best to bring their Moto Mods to market. I can't wait to see what new ideas the developers bring in 2018. We all want to be healthy so we can live long, happy lives. But with stress, poor diets, and being constantly on the go, people need help managing their lives. Tracking and monitoring our vital measurements can take up to five different tools. It's time consuming, it's tedious, and quite frankly, it can be expensive. We're very excited to introduce today the Lenovo Vital Moto Mod. It's the first connected, integrated, multi-vital sign monitoring platform you can operate through a single instrument. In a few easy steps, you can measure your heart rate, respiratory rate, pulse ox, body temperature, and for the first time ever, accurate systolic and diastolic blood pressure right from your finger. Using the Lenovo Vital Moto Mod, you'll have the power to track your measurements over time on your Moto Z, making sure you have the right information to stay healthy. It's coming in April from our friends at Vital, and I hope you'll take a minute to see the demonstration over in the demo area right after this. I'm gonna now hand it over to Jeff Meredith, the leader of our consumer PC and smart devices, and I'm gonna go get my blood pressure check to see if it's lower since my presentation is now over. Thank you very much, Jim, and good luck with the blood pressure testing. Hope everything comes down now. My name is Jeff Meredith, as David mentioned, and I lead our consumer business uh, at Lenovo. It's a pleasure to be with you all today. I know that CES is a crazy time for all of us, so thanks for taking a little bit of your time out to spend with us to hear about some of the exciting new products that we have uh, this year. At Lenovo, we're very proud of our PC heritage, as well as our history of bringing innovative out product to the market. As we evolve our evolve business the last few years and bridged from our traditional PC business into new areas like AR, and VR and smart home, uh, we've really expanded our focus to become a leader in consumer technology. We continue to leverage our product know-how uh, and our innovative spirit, but we do it in the context more of customer experiences rather than product first experiences. So it's in that vein that you'll hear from us today for new products, but really for distinctive experiences that we want to bring to market. Just to tee into that, You'll hear us talk about an always-on, always-connected PC experience for that mobile, on-the-go uh, person who really wants to make sure that they're always, uh, always connected. Next, you'll hear about a visually interactive smart home device, one that extends beyond just voice and gives you visual interaction. Lastly, we'll talk about how we bring both content consumption as well as content creation to VR to make it much more of a mainstream uh, user experience. So one of the things that we've realized that as we shift from a product focus to a customer focus, we have really stepped up our partnership engagement with leaders in our industry. We realize that it's really essential that we marry the core technology, the hardware, and the software together to make a great overall experience. So you'll hear from leaders at Qualcomm leaders at Microsoft as well as Google today with me and I'll bring them on stage so we can talk about both the products but also some of the story uh, and the experience that we were going for with each of the products. So let me move into the meat of the discussion today. While computers still play a very major role uh, in our productivity, we can't help but to acknowledge that the phone is with us all the time. It's always on, uh, instantly on, always connected. 
So we've really strived to emulate some of these natural experiences in our PCs. And we've made a bold move in this direction today, and this leads me to our very first announcement. The new Lenovo Mix 630 Detachable. We can advance this one, actually. So the Mix 630 um, detachable product, let me give you a good angle of it here, has two core benefits. The first is that we've integrated 4D LT and ESM capability. It closely mirrors what you come to expect on your smartphones. Second, we've engineered the product for an amazing 20 hours of battery life. More than one full day of capability for the product in terms of battery life. The Mix 630 features Qualcomm Snapdragon mobile PC platform, as well as Windows 10S. And to give a little bit more insight into both of those attributes of the product, I'd like to invite two key partners, Don McGuire, uh, as well as Matt Barlow on stage. Don is the VP of Global Product Marketing at Qualcomm, as well, Matt is a corporate VP of uh, Windows Marketing. So, Don, Matt, join me on stage. Thank you. Hey, Jeff, how are you? So, the mobile PC uh, platform. Don, can you share with us a little bit more detail? It's something that's new, and we're one of the early partners with you on that. Talk, talk to our audience a little bit more about the mobile PC platform. Sure, absolutely. First of all, congratulations on the launch of the Mix 630. What a, what a stunning design. Um, and we're so excited that Lenovo chose uh, Snapdragon Mobile PC Platform uh, to kind of bring this device to life. The, the benefits of, of, of Snapdragon really can be summed up by bringing the best of the smartphone to the PC. And there's really three key kind of pillars to the value proposition. One is that always on, always connected experience that Jeff, you mentioned. Second is the ability to produce thin and light and really creative designs because of the small world's first 10 nanometer integrated platform. And then the third thing is the battery life story, right? Which, which um, has been sort of a buzz in the media lately, delivering up to 20 hours of battery life and you know, almost another kind of killer app uh, for this. So we're really excited to be part of this. Um, the third, the, the, kind of the final pillar to this experience is really our partnership with Microsoft and bringing the always connected PC to market. Um, and, and that fact that this is just full Windows 10. This is Windows 10 as you know it and as you love it. And I'm sure Matt's going to kind of tell you all about that. So I'm going to hand it over to Matt to talk about Windows 10. Yeah, please do, Matt. Dive right in on, uh, on the Windows experience that you would expect to see out of the Mix 630. I'm good with that. Yeah, it's, it's great. So again, I wanted to say two thanks. And it's really great to be here to welcome Lenovo into the Always Connected PC family with our great Qualcomm partner here with Don and really showcasing the benefits of modern Windows 10 devices. When I think about the Always Connected PC, and especially when I look at the Mix 630, just a, an amazing device. I just think about the benefits that always connected PCs provide. It's a, it's a new breed of PC, combining the best of the mobile experience, right, instant on and, and connectivity, no matter where you happen to be, with the greatness of the Windows experience, right, creative platform and powerful computing, all into one device that is always connected, leveraging LTE and Wi-Fi and not having the customer have to think about connection, just opening the device and moving is an incredible experience. Battery life is unbelievable. When I think about the, the need for devices with long battery life, 20 hours of usage is unreal. But I even think the standby, having standby being measured in weeks versus hours or days is an incredible differentiator for this new platform. It runs Windows 10 in S mode, which is a great operating system to begin with. It does all the great things you can expect from Windows. Start menu, file explorer, being able to use Paint 3D, uh, Cortana, use um, uh, uh, Minecraft and more. And if for some reason your application isn't available in the Windows store, no problem. You can switch to Windows 10 for free with this particular device. We're excited about that. And lastly, when I think about devices and how meaningful they are in the something as thin as that in a detachable form factor is something that creators are going to want to have, something that journalists are going to want to use, something that um, uh, uh, all of us who are mobile professionals really care about. Those thin light devices running the best of Windows experiences with all day battery life is absolutely at the core of what we built today. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, both of you guys. I'll, I'll recap quickly uh, the Mix 630. The Mix 630 actually uh, will ship with both the keyboard as well as the pen. Um, it's available at, for $7.99 in the second quarter of this year, so just around the corner. 
both the pen and the uh, keyboard come as standard accessories. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate uh, you joining me on stage for the MiG 630. Thank you for the partnership. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Don's going to hang out with me because we have, a few more, uh, we have a few more announcements with Qualcomm. Thank you. So let me keep going. At IFA last year, I teased a little bit that we'd started a collaboration uh, with the Google Assistant team and with Qualcomm on a product that would bring visual interaction uh, to the smart home experience. So I'm pleased today to really show you the product uh, and detail some of the attributes of the experience for the very first time. To help me do this, I'd like to bring on stage Scott Hoffman, who's the VP of the um, Google Assistant team, uh, to join me. Scott? Hey, Jeff. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Yeah. So for many years, we've turned to Google for our queries, whether they're simple or complex. Recently, the assistant has made that experience even more natural for us. We now have conversation, voice interaction, and we get guidance um, from Google throughout the day to get things accomplished. So when we started working with Qualcomm and with Google on this project, we had a very clear vision to take the next step. And the next step would be to add uh, visual interaction to the smart speaker. So not just the audible response, but a visual response, a video-based response to really enhance the overall experience. We thought, wouldn't it be great if rather than trying to follow along on a recipe in printed form or even on your smartphone, if you could have a device right there in your kitchen where the top chef would tell you how to uh, create the, the dish of your choice. Or even a personal one for me, rather than calling my daughter in college and happy birthday and trying to get the whole family involved. We all gathered around and actually sang her happy birthday in a very comfortable way right from the couch. Lastly, what if I was working upstairs and I wanted to just click on uh, a smart camera in my home and check out what mischief my dog had gotten into down in the kitchen? All of these things uh, were visions or experiences that we wanted to make sure we delivered. So I'm very pleased to announce the Lenovo Smart Display. The Lenovo Smart Display will enable all of these experiences and much more. So let's bring up the Smart Display. Thank you, Holly. So what makes the Lenovo Smart Display truly stand out? First, it has full HD touchscreen display. It has the Google Assistant built right in. It runs the Qualcomm Home Hub platform. The product comes in both a 10-inch and an 8-inch model, has a front-facing camera with something that we think is really important for users, a privacy shutter uh, that can be physically closed and opened. It switches seamlessly from portrait to landscape mode. And the design is really built for domestic use. Minimalistic design, two variants on the 10 inch. You can see a wood bamboo finish, fits very naturally into your living room or your kitchen. A soft touch finish, uh, light colored on the eight inch. And for the first time, the Google, one of the very first executions, the Google Assistant uh, has been expanded uh, interface. Scott, can you talk to us a little bit more about this um, enhanced usage opportunity that a visual interface gives to the Google Assistant? Absolutely. Well, so like Jeff said, for a long time, people have been coming to Google to get answers to all sorts of questions. The Google Assistant brings together our deep investments in AI, things like machine learning, speech recognition, language understanding, in order to create a new way to talk to Google. It's a human, natural kind of conversation to help people get things done. Now, we bought the Google Assistant first to smart speakers in the home, and that's been fantastic. People can ask for whatever they want, even from across the room, and get an instant response from the Assistant. But while voice is great, like Jeff said, some use cases are just hard to do with voice alone. You know, if I'm walking through a recipe ingredients or lots of steps, Having a visual indicator of where I'm at makes things a lot easier. 
If I ask about traffic to a new destination, seeing traffic hotspots and alternate routes pop up instantly on a map is a lot better than trying to describe all that verbally. Or if I ask my assistant for an overview of my day, seeing my agenda pop up visually is a lot better than having it read to me hour by hour by hour. And of course, some set of things can only be done when you have a screen. Video calling grandma with Google Duo, watching that instructional YouTube video, or bringing up my photos from the beach last weekend with Google Photos. So we're really excited to enable all of that through the Google Assistant on the Lenovo Smart Display. Now, of course, to bring that together into a beautiful device, it also adds under the and it's about that. We hand it over. There you go. Thanks, Scott. It really does take collaboration amongst leaders like Lenovo and Google and Qualcomm to sort of arrive at where we are today, um, launching this beautiful Lenovo Smart Display. Um, taking these devices from voice to visual requires the most robust platform possible under the hood. And that's really what the Home Hub platform is all about. Um, as you saw in our release yesterday, we announced the Qualcomm Home Hub platforms. And these platforms um, uh, have, have taken all of our kind of DNA of connectivity and performance and power and added AI to make these devices even smarter. So we're really excited that Lenovo, in partnership with Google, were able to bring this to life through the Lenovo Smart Display. And as Scott said, bring all things Google um, to this device. Um, and so, uh, if, so it'll be all details on Home Hub. But basically, what we believe is platforms like this really allow these new sets of devices to be launched into market and deliver new experiences to consumers um, and really make Google Assistant rock. So we're excited to be part of this as another Lenovo announcement today. Uh, and congratulations again on the smart display. Thank you, Don. You know, just to close this one out, the smart display, we think, offer, ushers in a whole new experience around uh, in-home devices. Uh, the visual display gives you new use cases that you really have been able to not accomplish before or enhancements to, to things that you've been able to do before but not in an optimal way. So these two new products, uh, again, will launch in the second quarter this year. The 8-inch is available for $199, and the 10-inch starts at $249. Thank you, Scott, for joining us, sharing more details about the assistant. Thank you for the partnership as well. So on to the last two products that we'll announce uh, in this session. It's two that I'm very excited about because they push us in a whole new direction uh, in the world of VR. So I'd like to invite a good friend of mine, uh, Clay Bavor, who's the VP of AR and VR at Google, uh, to help me with the announcement and just to go through some of the backstory on this product. Clay, Jeff. thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Clay, you know, I remember uh, just a few months back at Google I.O., you teased the product a little bit and talked about that we were working on uh, a collaborative effort, a standalone product around Daydream. And, you know, today we get an opportunity to really reveal a lot of the work that we've been doing behind the scenes over the last several months. It's fun to get to finally share with the world, so I'm super excited about that. And, yeah, I remember all the way back to the first discussions we had, we really anchored on this idea that's been important to us at Google all the way back to Google Cardboard and then through to Daydream, which is making VR more approachable, more accessible, and more useful uh, to more people, and, and we hope in time to everyone. Uh, and it was, I think, an idea we really shared. Absolutely. And, and I remember as we concepted the product, we even joked, and you know, sometimes I need an aspiration or a vision. Uh, and for me, what I said was, um, I would like to see my parents actually wear a VR headset. If we could get something that they would wear, that would really uh, serve as, as an objective, a far-reaching objective. And we thought about that, and we ran with that premise. And what would cause you know, my mom and dad to strap on a VR headset? And the answer was really simple. Um, they're my kids, their grandkids. If they could be able to participate in events, special moments in their life, in an immersive way, uh, a fully immersive VR experience, whether it's gymnastics or baseball or soccer uh, or just, you know, a time at the beach. My parents, you know, despite the fact that it would be quite progressive for them, would certainly strap on a VR headset. So 
this served, uh, this aspiration served as an objective for us as we went along. And mainstream means different things to different people, but that was clearly our goal. So to deliver the experience that I'm sharing with you uh, for, for everyday users, I'm proud to announce our final two products today, our new Daydream offering. First, the Lenovo Mirage Solo headset, which is here, and the Lenovo Mirage uh, camera. You can see the two. So our objective as we started was not only to create products that were great for consumption, but also great for creation. We felt like this was the way that we would draw in a more mainstream customer. The camera in the headset were certainly built with each other in mind. For example, once you've captured moments um, with the camera, you can easily view them in Google Photos, um, in YouTube, or even uh, directly stream them. You can also just simply take the card out of the camera, slide it into the headset, and view in that way. We'll take both products and talk in a little bit more detail about them, and I'll start with the camera. So the camera itself is an easy-to-use point-and-shoot camera. You can see the very uh, small footprint of the device. It shoots 4K uh, VR video. It shoots VR photos, as well as gives you the capability to live stream in VR. It has standard Wi-Fi connection, as well as optional LTE for when you're on the go. It has two front-facing 180-degree field-of-view cameras. This enables the cameras, you can see here, to behave really like our human eye um, and gives depth perception uh, by superimposing two images together. This is a really important part of the overall experience. And Clay, if you could share more with our audience today about VR180, I think it's a main point of differentiation for our experience. Uh, I'd like to hear, have them have your perspective here. So VR, VR 180 is a format we developed uh, really with three things in mind. The first was making it easy to capture what's important to you. And uh, kind of a couple parts of that. One is, turns out if you hand someone a 360 camera, and there are a lot of those out there and people are using them for kind of VR capture, they don't know what to point it at. Because they just point it at anything. And, and that's just not how we're used to using cameras. Uh, and so by, by putting both cameras forward, we make it really simple. You, you capture what's there. Uh, and second, when, when you're thinking about capturing an experience, uh, what matters is usually what's in front of you. Uh, and what we saw in 360 cameras was often you get not only what's in front of you, but also like a large distorted version of your face or your hand. Uh, and that was a waste. And, and so we really wanted to streamline the experience and make it easy to capture what matters. Second, and Jeff, you mentioned this, is making the, the content that these cameras produce far more immersive. And a key part to that is making use of the fact that we have two eyes. Our eyes see slightly different views of the world, and our brains combine those images in what's called stereoscopy to give us a sense of depth. So real near things seem near, far things seem far. And the imagery that comes out of these cameras just appears much more realistic and immersive uh, than the alternatives. And the third thing was we wanted to make sure that the content was great in VR, but that was also easy and nice to consume in 2D on your phone, on your laptop. And the forward-facing camera is, uh, is part of that. Um, and we've also done hard work as part of the camera platform to directly integrate VR 180 into Google Photos, into YouTube. Uh, and in fact, one of the things I'm most excited about with this camera is when it's connected with a couple button taps, you can open up a direct live stream in VR 180 to YouTube. Millions of people could continue. So we're really excited about how all this uh, It turned out it was tricky to make a, a camera, which literally fits in your pocket, do all these things. We had to get a lot in there. Um, and we worked with Don and his team to make that happen. So you can talk a bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can you click for me? Since I... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, congratulations on the Mirage camera. I, I think it's super cool. Um, the VR 180 is pretty amazing, and it's based on our uh, connected camera platform, Qualcomm's connected camera platform. So we've got the, the dual cameras uh, in there and the power performance, um, and it's really exciting for us to see something like this manifest itself outside the smartphone. We've, we've literally integrated cameras and camera technology in billions of smartphones over the years, but to see it manifest itself in something like this is pretty amazing. And as we continue to grow outside of the phone, um, having products like this as a showcase that Lenovo has built along with Google, it's, it's really exciting for us. Um, and so we're really 
camera and, and the combination of solo and camera. Just excited to be part of it. And because the is so robust, that the users are going to have a great experience as well. Thank you, Don. So as, we, as we've all talked about, the experience is really optimized uh, together. We felt like that was essential if we wanted to step up the quality uh, and the experience around VR. You can upload photos in Google Photos, as Clay mentioned, and live streaming is definitely a, a capability uh, that we wanted to bring in order to make those memories not be something that are delayed but can share in an instant. So as we move from the camera to the headset, uh, let me get into the last announcement that we have today. The Mirage Solo headset is the world's very first standalone uh, daydream headset with inside out positional tracking. So the headset itself is designed, and this is something that, you know, Ray and I and, and I and teams have worked together for a long time. We, we start to work hardware and software together throughout the whole process. So it makes for a much more natural VR experience. It's a standalone headset, so no need for a PC, no need for a smartphone, no need for any messy cables. It's really easy to set up. This was a big part of what we wanted to achieve in the experience. You put the headset on, there's a couple of buttons that you press, um, and you're ready to go. And lastly, we worked really hard uh, on the headset in terms of design to achieve the comfort that we wanted. Any of you guys have used a VR headset over time know that comfort, especially in long, immersive sessions, can be a bit of a challenge. So the way that we uh, design the product and the materials that we use were important. The head, the head strap itself provides uh, weight balancing to keep the pressure off of the nose. Um, the rubber uh, that we have here, the soft facial uh, rubber strap actually intensely blocks out all of the external light. So you have a truly immersive experience, not you know, sometimes light seeping in. All of the controls are accessible on the right-hand side of the product. And for those of you who wear glasses like me, um, it's got a little extra space in there just to make sure you also have a comfortable experience. The thermal performance was something that we could really optimize because of the standalone nature of the product. So all of the components are optimized to deliver a very high-quality VR experience for longer periods of immersive viewing. The last thing that I want to talk about relative to comfort, and, and I'll um, do this collaboratively with you, Clay, is we did a lot of work on tracking. And tracking is really how you achieve comfort on a device like this. And, and I think a big step forward in a standalone device. So talk a little bit more about positional tracking and what we've done here. It's uh, one of the things we're most excited about in the product that it uh, makes use of a new technology we've developed called WorldSense which enables what's called inside-out positional tracking. So the headset not only tracks your rotation, but your movement in space. And so the view in the virtual world exactly corresponds to how you're moving in the physical world. And not only does that make the experience a lot more comfortable, it dramatically increases the sense that you're really there in the, the jargon presence. You really feel like you're inside the scene. Um, and it's based on years of work we've done in simultaneous localization and mapping, or SLAM, uh, technology we've developed for Tango and, and AR Core and other related things. Um, and it, and it, really, uh, it really improves the experience so much. It's a really special part of the product. Uh, and with it, you can duck, dodge, move, um, and really just move naturally, and everything moves just as you'd expect it to in, in real life. And it really improves the experience. So we're really excited about that one. Turns out it was uh, tricky to get positional tracking and uh, high performance there and high performance graphics running at so the same what time. What did we do when we ran into those challenges? Uh, we called up our buddies uh, at Qualcomm. Yeah, at Qualcomm. And, That's right. And Don. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I feel like we've won the. Oops, sorry, I feel like we've won the uh, Snapdragon Quadfecta today with Lenovo um, <laughs> because um, an, a, yet another great device integrating our Snapdragon platform. Um, uh, so again, congratulations on the Mirage Solo. Um, uh, it's another great example of, of what we believe, um, and, and a moniker at Qualcomm is, is VR was meant to be mobile. So, uh, so, but in order to do that, you have to have the power, the performance, um, to be able to not only deliver that experience for consumers, but allow Lenovo to create such a great design. Right, it's comfortable, it's, it's sleeker, it's lighter. Jeff mentioned if you have glasses or no glasses. So to, to be able to have that flexibility is something that we pride ourselves by, by having such an integrated and small package um, and, and packing all the power performance that is needed to deliver a great experience. Snapdragon allows you to do that. 
So from six degrees of freedom of movement to 3D audio, 4K visuals with natural interactions, all that is packed into Snapdragon in VR. Really excited to see what experiences this device will allow consumers um, to, to kind of utilize all the great daydream content um, that Google offers. Um, again, just again, really excited to be part of it. And you know, number four. Yeah, that's that's Don's last uh, last go today. I'm, I'm sure you're all wondering. Yeah. I am solely responsible for all these products. I'm really quite exhausted. <laughs> He's been really busy. And I'm going to go take a nap after this. Yeah. But, uh, but no, thanks again so for having me. So the last thing I want to talk about, and, and we've talked about user created content, and it's enabled to count. Clay, there's been a lot of work done in, uh, over the last several months on enhancements to Daydream content, and I'd like you to share some details about some of the latest and greatest content around Daydream. So uh, we're super excited about the headset, how it brings hardware and software together, but ultimately what people experience in these things is the content, places you can go, things you can do. And uh, first of all, just to say it again, we're so excited to see how people use the camera. Right? You can throw it in your pocket, and we expect a, a lot to happen with it. We've also been working on uh, an experience called Blade Runner Revelations. It's a, an immersive narrative and game uh, that we've created. And the, the graphics are phenomenal and really shows off the world sense technology um, and also the high performance graphics available on the headset. There are over 250 other apps and experiences from developers uh, on the Daydream platform as well, from uh, the likes of uh, electronic arts. This is one of my favorites shown here virtual reality, it's even better right, when you can actually step in the world and move around it with positional tracking. And we've also brought a lot of the best of Google's apps to Daydream. So for example, uh, Street View, you can visit uh, over 70 countries. Google Arts and Culture, which is shown here, you can explore masterpieces, painting, sculptures around the world. Uh, and then my personal favorite is YouTube VR, where you can step inside tons and tons of very high quality VR videos. Uh, and also step back and have your own kind of personal private big screen for traditional YouTube videos. Um, and again, uh, w with that experience, positional tracking and world sense just makes it sing. So we're really excited about uh, what's coming to Daydream and in particular the content that's going to make use of some of the unique capabilities of, of the new headset. So um, we're looking forward to it. Thank you, Clay. So let me close this up for us today. Lenovo, Solo. Whoops. I lost the controller. The controller is very durable, very durable. Um, the headset, standalone, offers no PC, uh, requires no PC, no phones, uh, no cables. Built for VR, first standalone headset uh, with revolutionary world sense uh, that Clay has talked about. Six degrees of freedom, very comfortable overall usage experience. Easy to set up, uh, just put it on your head in a couple clicks. And finally, the ergonomic design. Uh, of the product was really made for comfort over long periods of usage. As you can tell, we're very proud uh, of both of the products individually, but we really think that when you bring them together as an overall experience, they're much more powerful. The Mirage Solo as well as the Mirage camera uh, are both available starting in Q2 this year. And with these two products that we truly believe that we're going to take a pretty bold step forward in terms of making VR ready and available and it more interesting to a mainstream audience. Thank you guys very much, Don, uh, appreciate Clay. Appreciate so much, you guys, Thank the you. partnership, and joining me on stage. So let me wrap it up for us. The latest, from the latest Moto Mods uh, to the always connected mobile computing of the Mix 630, to a, an enhanced Google assist, Assistant experience in the Lenovo Smart Display, and the immersive and personalized experiences of the Mirage Solo and Mirage Camera. We're very excited about the experiences that we've shared with you today and the products that deliver them. We're certainly glad to see in our industry like Microsoft, uh, GoGo, uh, and deliver more experiences, as Jim talked about. Partnerships makes these, make these experiences really very meaningful and rich. So as we close out, we'd like to invite all of you to be some of the very first to try out the experiences. We have demos available. Um, so as I close out the session now, uh, you all have times for your demos. Enjoy them, enjoy the products, and enjoy your CES. Thank you.
Just be a queen. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Don't be a drag, just be a queen.